Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the top three stocks under $20. I hope you guys enjoy it and overall, I hope you guys learn something. And if you guys get anything in value out of this video, please you pay me with a huge like. It's greatly appreciated because more people will be able to see it. So make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already. Also, you guys can use the promo code 20 to get 50% off my course. Also, if we hit 10 likes on this video, guess what guys? I will drop the price from $35 all the way to $5 for the course. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. That'll be the first link down below. So now, let's jump into it. The top stocks under 20 bucks. Let's go. Bam. Alrighty guys, so now before we actually talk about the top stocks under 20 bucks, I wanna give you my little kind of like investing tip for the day. You know, I think it's always smart to have a nice solid base of ETFs or bonds to act as your defense before you guys invest into some of these high risk, high reward stocks. You know, these stocks are gonna be very, very risky. There's gonna be a lot of volatility with them. And with volatility, you know, you see, you see your account move at very, very rapid rates. So if you have something that's kind of working as a defense, I think it overall just saves you guys a ton of money, ton of headache, and it really helps with your emotions. Um, but the very first stock here that I do think has a ton of long-term potential is Virgin Galactic. I understand a lot of people don't like Virgin Galactic, but I do. I think there is kind of a sector of its own. You know, I think that whole travel experience would be absolutely crazy. And you guys can see that the futuristic uh, pictures of this is nuts. And I do think that one, we are still technically on an upward trend. So for a technical analysis, you know, standpoint, I think it looks great. You know, yes, technically you could say, oh, well, Carter just hit, you know, hit highs, we're getting some sell off. But looking at looking at it from its lows, we are on an upward trend for this year, which is actually really, really nice to see, meaning that the lows of this stock are higher. And I do think right now that we are technically on a support line, meaning that this is when we see a lot of tendency to see buying pressure. So I do think we'll have some buying pressure from around 16 to at least $20, if not break out of this resistance, because there is resistance here and it's gonna hit that trend line. And once we get a break from that, then it can move to around 29, and then the nearest is 42. But overall, you know, that's just as a technical standpoint. Uh, but for the long term, I think there there's going to be a lot of volatility with this stock. But with volatility comes risk and reward. Obviously, one to keep an eye on. Maybe take a little bit of your position, one, two percent at most, and invest into something like this. The next one here is Bloom Energy. This one here is one that I do think that is kind of a little underrated. Yes, I know I would say not to invest in a downward trend and I, I stand behind that, but you always have to look at, okay, if we get a break out of this trend, I think that this stock could go from around 20 to all the way up to $38 per share. And I do think the future for this is pretty strong. You know, Bloom Energy is a company that is working on a ton of awesome new tech. And I think that with, with that sector growing at a very, very rapid rate, this stock is kind of little undervalued in my opinion, which is crazy. The stock is up around 3% today, but definitely room from, you know, break from 18 to 38 could definitely be an awesome swing trade. But the last stock here, guys, that I think that everybody should look at is under $20. Now, this stock is NEO. This is Tesla's competitor overseas in China and Japan. This stock and this company is actually pretty, pretty strong. You guys can see it hit lows at $1.20, and we had extreme buying pressure pretty much ever since. The stock is pretty heavily traded, and it does like to use this nine moving average line as some support. That's that blue line here you guys can see. Almost every time that it's headed, we get buying pressure, buying pressure. And so now we had this dip all the way down here and the stock got bought up. That's why it's up around 2% today. But overall, I think that NEO has a ton of long-term potential. They are in that fast growing electric sector, which you have a ton of people trying to get into because they think it is like the dot-com bubble. They think it's like 
investing in Amazon when it first IPO'd or, you know, Apple or something along those lines because those were, you know, those technology time, technology stocks at the time that everybody was watching and they it was just in a really, really hot sector. And I think Neo falls into that category, but I think that they still have some room to grow and expand and get to the United States market. Could definitely make this stock more interesting, but they are doing pretty, pretty well overseas and they are obviously um, their front runner in that electric automobile space, which is really nice. Alrighty guys, that is it though. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and overall, stay safe out there. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to check out the course down below. That'll be the first link. Don't forget to use that promo code. Take care. Let's go. Bam.